Alright, so since the horse update, a lot of people have been building uh, farms and stuff, so I reckon I'd try my hand at it. See how this goes. I think this is a pretty good uh, start base for a little farmhouse. Let's see what more we can do to it. Alright, so here's the. Uh, not quite the finished product, we still got a lot little detail work to do, but this is the, uh, pretty much a rough draft of the house. Uh, this is how it's going to be pretty much structurally, and I think the color scheme's going to remain the same, but, uh, but, gosh, every time. But we still got a lot of interior decorating and, uh, stuff like that, stuff like that to do. Um, get inside real quick. Had a lot of trouble tying the roof in together, but I think it worked out as smooth as it possibly could. This is all I have done in here. I know it's real uh, dark, but we're going to get some, some lights and uh, some uh, nice bright colors to light the place up a little bit. It'll be a lot better in here pretty soon. Uh, I just want to start working uh, on the barn next. Alright, so I got, uh, I got a lot of stuff done. Uh, while I was working on the barn, I uh, I planted all this to let it grow. It looks, it looks pretty good. It's been, uh, um, so that out there was all the weed stuff. And over here we got uh, the potatoes going up one side, carrots going up the other. And uh, over here I got the uh, pumpkins and uh, the watermelon. And a little, uh, little cow pin for the, the slaughter cows and a little sheep pin over here. Water reeds and trees and stuff. And uh, as far as the. I'm pretty happy with the way the, the barn turned out. The reason I uh, I did this, I used jungle wood and the, uh, the regular hard clay. Uh, it looks. The, the way the, uh, the jungle wood's colored, it's, uh, it's kind of reddish looking, so it looks like the uh, uh, the paint is peeling off of it. It's like real run down and uh, battered looking. The reason I didn't do it on the house is I figured, uh, you know, you usually take more care of your house than your barn. Most barns are pretty ratty and old, but most farmhouses go pretty nice. Um, I got the uh, you know, silo over here. It's pretty, yeah, pretty functional. You know, I got a uh, hopper zone all the way down to it. There's a uh, Ah, seeds, wheat, and, uh, it's bread, no, uh, gold carrots. Pretty much everything you need for, uh, breeding. Put in the silo. Get it out here. Get out buttons for dispensers. Right. Then, uh, I've got the little, little pig stall right here. That's where the pigs go. And then, uh, Got the uh, milking station for the cows. These are my milk cows. Give it to me! Give it! You say, what? Uh, well, anyway, yeah, that's what, <laughs> uh, that's what that's supposed to be. Unless I miss something somewhere, you used to be able to milk cows. Um, and then in here, we've got the, uh, the horse that I build up this high because I don't want to jump it out, uh, especially with these hay, hay bales and stuff sitting around here that you can climb up on. I just like having the hay sitting around, it looks pretty good. Uh, I was going to build a little uh, lean to out there to, to put the hay under like most farms have. We got big old thing to up the old field with uh, their, their hay and straw is stored under. But, uh, I figured I'd just put it in the barn. As a matter of fact, I might make the, the hay storage area up on the loft up here because I don't really have too much going on up here. I thought about making this, uh, a, uh, a workstation with a workbench and what have you, but I, uh, I figure if you're you got a barn, you're doing projects up in the room, you know, carrying lumber and stuff up there. I, I, I don't know. <laughs> it's, 
It's Minecraft, but still. Uh, so I just put a little workstation right here. Good stuff. More stuff. Um, what else? Oh, chicken coop. We got a uh, chicken coop build over here. I uh, stole this idea from Reddit. Oh my god! Come on. I hate rain so bad. Kind of did my, uh, my own little rendition of the, the chicken coop here is something in the back of the, uh, the hill here. I'm probably going to cover more of this stuff with dirt because I don't like the way it looks. Um, and I need some big chickens in here. Get eggs. I need to make a. a uh, chicken slaughtering pen. Actually, I might not, because I already got pigs and, uh, and cows to eat, so I might, might just uh, lay off that for a bit. So, now that just leaves a little, uh, little detail work to do. I'm going to have the furniture and stuff in the house. And, uh, so what the hell is this? I did a lot, and I can't remember what I did. Oh, brewing room. Yeah, there's, there's a reason this, this thing's kind of weird right here. Because I'm not the... Oops. <laughs> it's because I'm not the uh, the greatest when it comes to redstone. I tried to make a... A, 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 a double piston uh, extender to make a, a door and just the... Uh, just the, the timing on it, I couldn't get it worked out, and I'm not pretty patient, so I just moved on to bigger and better things. So, switch. And really, from the front, it isn't, it's barely noticeable. It's like, you can only really tell when you get up close at uh, something sticking out right there with your milking station. I think it picked up pretty good. So we got a little, uh, little hideaway meth lab back here. But uh, all the dirty things happen. Oops. Yeah, actually. <laughs> Alright, I'm probably gonna. Probably gonna look around for a little bit and see what all else I wanna do. Yep! Alright, I think that just about, uh, just about does it. I, uh, did some, uh, some landscaping, got some trees going on. Adds a little bit more depth to the hills and, uh, what have you. Doesn't look quite as, as plain. It's kind of tough building, uh, right next to a shore like this because you don't have any, the only scenery you have is right there and right there. So you're just kind of looking out on some, some barren stuff so you can cover that up a little bit. Uh, I got the inside of the house. Uh, decorated. It's not. It's not too fancy, but I figure uh, a little small-time farmer shouldn't probably have like the fanciest house ever. But it's still nice, and nice and neat in here. Uh, I turned the uh, the fire spread off for the fireplace because it was catching the, that beam right there on fire, and I don't know why. Uh, it's. I think it's more than four blocks up, unless the, the rules for fire changed. But still, you wouldn't think that fire would go through that. It seems like, a, like something you ought to fix. You know, if, it, if it's in a fireplace, it shouldn't go up that high, but whatever. I <laughs> uh, got the kitchen done here. Got some, got some cabinets, because why not? Uh, no refrigerator, because we, since this is a, a farm build, we uh, <clears throat> keep all our stuff down in the, uh, in the root cellar. Got an island here, stoves dry food, food storage in uh, the kitchen, because why not? If I had this deck, I'd eat out here all the time. This is a nice view. Um, got a little, whoop, oh, got a little office space here, library, more books. Um, in survival, if you have a, uh, armor in here, you, you push the, uh, whoa, you push the button, um, It'll shoot the armor out at you and like put the armor on you. 
so it's kind of like an automatic dresser. Um, bed, not too fancy. Oh, light switch. Fancy. And then just stuff to kind of cover up the walls with. Um, I don't think there really needed to be too much, like, spammy decoration stuff of the house because uh, I put so many I put so many curves in it it looks interesting enough on its own like it doesn't need it. there's not too many real flat spaces that need to be buffed out and even this right here it's got the it's got like three different colors going on so it's not like it's not just flat and boring it's uh, even though it is flat it looks like it has a little bit of depth to it especially when you're back a little bit um, love the way the roof tied in all together. Uh, it's a chimney, but yeah, I uh, I didn't want to be symmetrical at all because most houses aren't symmetrical anyway, and I wouldn't think that a farmhouse would be. But I didn't want it to be like square and boring either, so I kind of followed the the terrain a little bit back here, and then just made this round area and had a. Uh, uh, this stick out the side. I think it worked out pretty good. It looks looks pretty good. And of course, uh, potatoes and carrots. And then down here, we got the, the wood chopping shop shed lean to thing. Uh, it's a pretty good axe. Ready to chop. Got these logs out here. Looks, looks pretty cool. Might do some. Uh, might do something in there. Um, I think the road looks pretty good. It's all kind of nasty looking. Going up to our next build site over on the other side of the mountain there. Um, I should have this. Oh yeah, I added a, added a blacksmith shop to the to the barn here for the horses and what have you. Ah, uh, storage area. Let's see, I think I went over pretty much all this. I think that's about. Oh, added a dock over here. I almost forgot about that. Not too big a deal, but kind of cool. Silo. Mm -hmm. I think that's about it. Oh, root cellar. Yeah. yeah. Okay. I made a a little pin here because it, sometimes the chickens would get out and run and stomp the the fields and the uh, the the wheat fields and what have you. So, all the chickens in here are going to be the slaughtering chickens for meat. And then down here is the, uh, the root cellar where we uh, store all our, our food and stuff. <clears throat> I think I'm getting sick or something. Like Voice is getting scratchy. Um, and I think that's about it. Um, just... I know it's not real, real functional and, uh, you know, all kinds of redstone contraptions, what have you, but I, I think that uh, uh, creative Minecraft should be more like like drawing, kind of like kind of like art. Like this is 3D 3D art to me. Only it's it's better than just a, a drawing that you can only look at from let's say you only look at a at a drawing from like this perspective. Like that's it. And you know that that looks that looks nice and that looks that's pretty cool and have you, but. Uh, like it's even better when you like walk around and see all the different angles and what have you. And, you know, like this is. I think this is a lot better than just regular art, and that's how I like to build. Like it's like it's just 3D art. Like it's a picture you can walk around inside. You know. Um. And yeah. Oh, I got myself into here. Um. I think that's about it. Uh, I hope you guys I hope you guys liked it. I hope it helped you if you're if you're looking for ideas and inspirations on uh, your own builds for like a farm or something. And uh, yeah, I, I just hope you like it and uh, like the video and what have you. And I hope you watch again. So thanks for watching and uh, I'll see you next time.